Sustainable World Building. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 127. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 127, August 30th, 2015 edition. As always, I'll be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our email newsletter list. You can, of course, also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 50% of the content for the quantity and quality lesson plan to the website. You can see this work here. In addition, we wrote the first 50% of the social relationships lesson plan behind the scenes. We also completed and added the first 50% of the mind map for the quantity and quality lesson plan to the web page. Here's that mind map. And finally, Anna from the architecture and planning intern team added interior layout details and furniture specifics to the 3D design of the ultimate classroom, as you can see here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Food featured our open source Oka Hub across our social media channels using this new social media image we created. We also researched and added additional recipes, which you can see here, to the open source Mashua Hub. More recipes from our food self sufficiency transition plan will be added to each of the individual hubs in the future. Last but not least, we added three new delicious recipes from Sandra Salani vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ? We added these to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, and they include applesauce muffins, Parmesan-style artichokes, and sweet potatoes with pear anise chutney. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team, working behind the scenes, began what we hope will be the final major revision of the Footers Foundation and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This included adding more photos and descriptions, writing up a narrative for compass use, and creating the dome curvature, compass parts details, and more. We'd say we're about 8% complete with this final revision behind the scenes. We also added annotations and updated the Earthback Village main hub with Juberto's 3D interactives of both the three dome and six dome resonant clusters. You can see this work here and experience a self-guided 3D walkthrough on the main hub. In addition to this, Sayonara, a member of the architecture and planning intern team, added final details to the 3D model of the communal shower design with the Earthback Village Pod 1. 
She then brought sections one and two of the architectural images of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 to about 99% complete. Adolfo from our mechanical engineering intern team worked with Chago from our electrical intern team on correcting and finalizing the electrical layout designs for villages 1, 5, and 7, which included adding in control panels, outlets, and an updated lighting plan. And Samantha, a member of the architecture and planning intern team, re-rendered images of the shipping container village pod 5 using Revit and 3ds Max and included an exploded view of each floor. She also modeled and rendered an additional two-bedroom unit for this village. Flavia finished the final 30% of the architectural corrections and internal layout details for the Cobb Village Pod 3, bringing that to 100% completion. She also completed a proposal for the interior design of the Duplical City Center, including the furniture made from recycled pallets that she worked on with Gabrielle. Raquel and Diana, also members of the architecture and planning intern team, continued making additional renders of their designs for the Earthship Village Pod 6. Erica, Pedro, and Victor from the architecture and planning intern team added the final 20% of the architectural designs for the compressed earth block village 4, which brings that to 100% completion as well. They also created final renders of village 4 and village 5. Sarah, another member of the architecture and planning intern team, created 3D models of the construction design for the treehouse village pod 7, as you can see here. And Dice from the architecture and planning intern team continued updating the floor plans of the treehouse village and brought them to 100% completion, as you can see here. Gabrielle, an industrial design student on our graphic design intern team, updated the ambiance in his models of the Earth Bank Village and then created additional renders as you can see here. He also continued creating models and, and components lists of the Duplicate City Center's pallet furniture with Flavia. Last but not least, Gilberto from the graphic design intern team continued his 3D modeling project for a complete realistic walkthrough of the Earth Bank Village units. This week he added the communal bathroom you can see here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplical City Center. This week, we finished doors and main walls for the Living Dome, the roof of the fourth floor, and updating to the new layout for the library, restrooms, and main area of the Social Dome. We'd say we're about 40% complete with the 3D update. In addition to this, civil engineering intern Hinata brought the design and cost analysis of all the windows and doors at Duplical City Center to 100% completion. Mike finalized his review of the kitchen design for the shipping container village and the Earthship village. He also selected the components to use in Revit for the kitchen design modeling in 3D. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant and principal of Acumen Industries and the structural intern team, Beatriz, Rodrigo, and Marilio completed the structural design for the interior of the res residential dome. This included the finalization of the sizing for the main beams, auxiliary beams, and all the columns. Jogo, Isidora, Mateos, and Roberto from the hydraulics intern team created a plumbing fixture schedule for the city center. They also created the initial cold water design for Village 5 and 6. Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, guided Fabio, Lucas de Souza, Lucas Tsui de Silva, and Henique of the Electrical Intern Team on Revision 4 and 5 of the first City Center control panel design. They also placed the layout for the sensors and the blueprints and brought the AC panel design to about 90% complete. Meanwhile, Amari from the Mechanical Engineering Intern Team remade the 3D model of the laundry room from scratch and created an animated simulation for the heat flow. He also put the components together for a real working model of the shower heat capture his team designed. It just took about 10 minutes and cost $92.10 for all the components. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true Earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Lucas from the Graphic Design Intern Team continued creating badges for the award system in the Highest Good Network application. You can see some of these here. Manuela of the Graphic Design Intern Team continued working with service design student Carolina on the online presentation document for the Treehouse Village. They continued integrating service design methods into their online magazine and videos for this village. They also worked on the 3D modeling, which includes structural and external views. 
Eduardo, another member of the graphic design intern team, created collages, synced the audio, revised, and finished the videos of the intern's work for four weekly video blogs. Graphic design intern Manases worked on the organization of the renders, content, and other graphic elements for the online presentation he's creating for all seven of the One Community Villages, bringing this work to about 30% complete. Igor, Marco, Mateus, and Natalia of the software development intern team continued coding and debugging the highest good network application. This included fixing errors, optimizing the code, and getting it running faster. They also implemented the first chart on the report page and completed the setup and task pages. And last but not least, mobile software developer Gustavo's work on the One Community iPhone app included creating a new report for total hours worked, updating public feedback details into the programs feature, creating the ability for a user to change their login and password, and additional bug fixes and improvements. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community thinks sustainable world building is a process of building from the ground up. Our approach to accomplishing this is through open source and do-it-yourself tutorials, blueprints, and free shared solutions to food, energy, housing, high school education, high school economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, fulfilled living, and true earth stewardship. Putting all of these things together as an evolution of sustainability by combining those physical aspects with the emotional elements to create a new way of living that we think that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. This foundation is designed to create sustainable world building through teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world. These solution models are designed to be solution creating models that help others to build sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well, spreading the idea of sustainable living, highest good living, and creating a world that works for everybody across the planet in a way that is self-replicating and is accessible to the average person with average means and average experience. To accomplish all this, we're open sourcing all the details, the specifics, the tools, the tutorials, the blueprints, the do-it-yourself instructions in a way that can be duplicated as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community village city or hub with seven different sustainable village models so that people have different options for different areas. And the open source platform that we're building this is a foundation for sustainable world building because it allows people to design, to redesign, to adapt, to modify, to create additional iterations of everything that it is that we're creating to make it easier and easier over time and to add to the global suite, to the global collaborative, the global collective, of information that is open source and free shared so that others can build additional models too. This is what we're up to. This is what we're creating. And if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you or something you'd like to participate in, there are lots of ways to get involved from consultants to, to pioneers, the people that will be moving onto the property to satellite members, which are the people that are helping behind the scenes that are part of our weekly update calls and our collaborative calls, but not planning to move onto the property. Or you can help us by sharing our information through social media. We're on all the different social media accounts to make this as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Sue, we are on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, and about 15 others so that people can access the information in the way that works best for them. Because we know that the path to achieving true sustainable world building is through knowledge and reaching that tipping point of participation and understanding so that we are positively and permanently affecting every single person on this planet. When we achieve that, we will achieve the goal of a sustainable planet and we'll be on the path to creating a planet that will meet the needs of its population for generations and generations to come. And we believe that this is necessary and we believe that it's possible. So we're bringing together people to consciousness for the highest good of all who also believe that it's possible that believe that this is a worthwhile endeavor and worth putting time and energy into, then our all volunteer, all unpaid, nonprofit organization is creating what's necessary to accomplish that. And of course, people ask, what is the number one thing that people can do right now to help one community? We are still seeking large scale funding. So if you are somebody who knows somebody or somebody with the means to help us to get the property off the market, to help us purchase that property so we can share the location, the details of this property that we've been working with now for almost five years. It's still on the market, still waiting for us to purchase it. 
but we do not have the funds to do that right now. So if you're somebody who knows somebody or you are somebody with the means to help either by donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or by investing in one community, we would definitely like to talk to you. Also, of course, the small donations are an immense help. So we like to always say every single week, thank you for the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $25 donations, the $50 donations. Those donations help to cover our little expenses, all the different things that are required to run an organization like ours, all of which go into forwarding our open source progress because we're all volunteers, we're all nonprofit, and we're all doing this because we believe that we can be the change that we want to see in the world and that we're capable of creating a world that works for everybody. So as always, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the likes and the shares on Facebook, Twitter, all those different areas. And of course, uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the details of sustainable world building from this week's update, you can visit our weekly update blog and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these comes up from YouTube. Or if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these comes out directly from one community, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our email list. Thanks for following our progress. As always, have a great week.